Head of Gray Television's gubernatorial debate next week, we're continuing to look at the data from the Mason-Dixon commissioned poll. We take a look at what factors could impact the direction voters go in the upcoming election. In 2015 and 2019, Democratic Governor John Bell Edwards was able to win in a runoff in a majority red state. Now many political analysts anticipate another runoff, this time between Republican Attorney General Jeff Landry and Democrat Dr. Sean Wilson. The question is, is Wilson, the former head of the State Department of Transportation and Development, a compelling enough candidate to pull off a potential upset? He is by no means a lock for the runoff in Probably a long shot should he make the runoff. He's not an incumbent. He serves as director of an agency that, despite all of his best wishes, is not really known for vaulting a candidate to any sort of prominence or, you know, offers much clout to that candidate. According to new data from Mason-Dixon polling, Wilson's favorability comes in at 28 percent among a group of more than 600 voters. Only 7 percent reported an unfavorable opinion of Wilson, but 31 percent held a neutral view. The majority of respondents at 34 percent didn't recognize Wilson at all. On the other hand, 46 percent found Landry favorable, while far more found Landry unfavorable compared to Wilson. Far fewer didn't recognize him. While I think there may be a little bit of question mark hanging over the representation of black voters, uh, I think we have a good idea of where they're going to go to so to see Landry with a decisive edge at this point it's not a big surprise it's the demographics that could play the biggest part in an upset and a potential runoff polling data points to Landry taking a decisive lead at 52 percent while Wilson trails at 39 percent nine percent of respondents were undecided on the matchup I really think the independents are going to have a more prominent say than people are giving them credit for they were super decisive in putting John Bell Edwards in office, especially because he moved himself right of center with his anti-abortion stance. That's an issue that stands out among voters, especially women registered as independent or as a Democrat. When respondents were asked if they supported the state's current abortion ban, 53% opposed it. 57% of opposition came from women, while 48% were men. By party, 70% were registered Democrats, 28% Republicans, and 54% were independent. That's why political analyst Greg LaRose is paying close attention to women's votes in this election. I think that's likely moved a lot of more middle-leaning Republicans uh, to consider Democratic candidates, or at least ones that have said they would consider changing and adding exceptions to the state's abortion law. Another focus on the outcome of a possible runoff would be the number of black voters. In 2019, over 50 percent of the black population in Louisiana voted, with a majority supporting John Bell Edwards in a runoff, after just 40 percent voted in the primary. Some political experts have pointed to this as a reason for Edwards' win, but don't know if Wilson will have the same turnout in this election. This state Democratic Party, I think it's widely agreed, is in such disarray that I don't know that they can effectively campaign and vault Sean to the position that John Bell Edwards was in back in 2015 or 2019. Well, coming up on, on September 26th, you'll have a chance to hear from some candidates in the governor's race. Our sister station in New Orleans is hosting a live televised debate at the University of New Orleans on September 26th from 7 to 8 p.m. So far, Wilson and Republican Stephen Wagesback are the only two confirmed candidates to be attending.